Hola mi gente, Marina this. How are y'all doing? So today is actually a very special video. Um, so today is a sponsored video actually. Thank you so much um, to the sponsor of this video, Crescent QT Nails, which is a Toronto based um, custom, custom nail art artist. So they, I was honored to receive three of their custom nail art. Um, to the nail art, I um, asked for them to uh, make it Lolita inspired. So um, it'll be based off of two dress prints. And then the third one is actually based on my birds. <laughs> so talking a little bit about Crescent Cutie Nails. So like I said, Crescent Cutie Nails is a Toronto based company specializing in custom nail art for everybody. So Christina, the owner of Crescent Cutie Nails, actually reached out to me. Um, they're actually on my page, so thank you so much. Um, I, thank you so much. <laughs> so they are actually, so they are a nail artist, like I said, based in Toronto. And something that a lot of Alitas kind of think about, but don't think about at the same time, is their nails being part of their cord. So me personally, I love wearing rings and I love having nice nails. I usually tend to have my nails painted or even um, like done or did <laughs> uh, when I go to like events for Lolita, such as like conventions and um, like big meetups and stuff like that. So I was actually really, I'm actually really excited and happy to talk about this because this is definitely something I feel like Lolitas now are kind of getting more and not just even Lolitas, um, in general, J fashion, like especially like Yadu, for example, um, nails is a big part of the fashion. So the fact that we're getting more or we're being show more um, artists that do custom nails is really exciting. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about custom, about Crescent Cutie Nails, and then um, show y'all the nails. So I'm going to have here on screen um, a little bit more about uh, Crescent Cutie Nails, the artists. So it was founded in 2020 by Christina Elias. Crescent Cutie Nails strives to make everyone look magical through the power of nail art. Christina is a self-taught artist since 2017 and is, and is currently in the process of becoming a certified nail technician through the Academy Art of Nail Design. Inspired by Sailor Moon, fine art, and all things magical, Christina works to make your next nail set your best yet. Honestly, I totally agree. <laughs> so, um, so literally, uh, the three. So when Christina reached out to me, um, they asked what sort of thing. So I just I asked them if they could make um, nail nails to match "Girly Gang" by the Angelic Forest and "Girly or Girly Gang" by the Angelic Forest and "Angelic Pretty." Uh, neon star diner and then I don't know I just got in like the random idea to do uh, to see if uh, they could um, do one that would match my birds and so they did and it, honestly it's so gorgeous <laughs> so I'm just gonna talk a little bit more about them um, so they do have a website and an Etsy I do have a discount code for everyone 15% off it is um, marina15 so that's 15% off your order um, if you do want to order through Etsy. Uh, the only thing with Etsy, um, it is a little bit more expensive, the shipping, just because um, Christina is based in Canada, so you know the shipping is just a little bit different, but that's nothing that they can control. So um, if you are interested, they'll definitely recommend that you use Marina 15 um, so you can save some money on your cute art. So let's go on Christina's website. Christina does do uh, in-person services, but we're going to talk about the press on nails um, since that would be uh, what I would be talking about here and that I've received. So um, Christina is able to do custom nail art. So if you are interested in your own art, um, they would pretty much just ask like the sort of dress print that you would want to match this for or at least some sort of theme and then you'll be able to work with them. Um, on your custom nail set <laughs> so it was really easy honestly uh, to work with Christina it, we worked through email and they were able to deliver such beautiful nails and I was just thoroughly impressed at the art of the nails <laughs> so they do have an Instagram which is Cres Crescent Cutie Nails 
so definitely follow them on there for some of their artwork gorgeous gorgeous nails there so looking on their um faq they'll they it shows you a little bit more about the sizes that they do carry for the press on so as you see here uh these are the measurements for the nails that christina does use for the nails um so i will talk about a little bit more of how the nails fit on me and how i um i guess like some of the not issues but just some of the um things that I had to work through since um, my measurements were actually a little bit smaller than this. So looking at the FAQ page, it does tell you the uh, sizes that they do carry for the press-on nails. So they do have like the almond shape, the short ones, and um, the more oval shape. So um, it does tell you how to measure your nails. Um, literally, it's the easiest thing. You just use measuring tape and then you just measure the widest part of the nail. And then you just send that measurement over to Christina. Um, so it does tell you how to apply the press on nails. Um, I was given glue, but honestly, I, I prefer to just use the, uh, the sticky tabs, which Christina does provide in each one. And then it tells you how to remove press ons. And then why would I even want to, to even wear press ons? So because I have two birds, um, unfortunately, I can't always have my nails done every and every single day as much as I would like to. So most of the time I have um, very nothing on my nails. And so really I kind of just, when I do my nails, it's very short. I don't do any tips or longs or fillings or anything or gel unless I'm going somewhere or a con or vacation or something. So for me, having press on nails um, that will last <laughs> a long time and I could just put a tabby and then um, put it back and then take it off at the end of the day or whenever I'm done with the nails for like pictures or whatever is very convenient for me and I think would be very convenient for a lot of Lolitas too. And the fact that um, you can have them custom to whatever print um, that you would like is really great in my opinion. So when I received my package from Christina and um, Crescent Cutie Nails, it came in this very cute um, silver package. And the first thing uh, that I saw when I took or when I opened the package was the little high chews. So thank you so much for the candy. I love high chews. So I'm going to show you how um, exactly how it is packaged and what's in the package and i will show you all three designs that i got this is the first pair that i got um it's the uh bird one so that's chia and siete so it's named there for you what um set it is or whatever it's depending on so chia and siete those are my birds so in the box um obviously you have the nails which i will put aside for a second in the in the little box for the nails it comes with the tabbies so the sticky tabbies um that you would put on your nail and then that would uh, be pretty much the adhesive to the nail so you put it on your natural nail and then that would stick on to the uh, press on nail or the acrylic nail and then the next thing that is also in here is alcohol pads um so of course you should use these whenever you want to put on your nails um it's always best to work on a clean nail and you do uh, use the tabbies or any um glues or anything and then we have the um the adhesives the glue um that you could use so and then we have a very cute heart nail filer it's so cute and then finally um in the same box is the cuticle pusher um so this you could use to um, push your cuticles if you need to or um, possibly even to take off the nail or kind of like to help um, peel off the nail without forcing it off your nail or tearing it off your nail. So this is the first design. Um, this is the Chia and Siete design. So uh, Chia is the orange colored bird and then uh, Siete is the, um, the more green and blue colored bird. But the reason why um, the opposite birds is on there, so this is supposed to be Chia and then this is supposed to be Siete. So it looks much better if it's contrasting versus if, we were to, if they were to put Chia on the orange and then the gr and Siete on the green, it kind of would like blend in. I actually love how like 
um, contrasting it is. So while Siete here is on the orange Chia color, it looks really good with his green. And then since Chia here is on the Siete's green color palette, it looks so gorgeous. I absolutely, <laughs> this is definitely my favorite. I honestly don't even want to wear this. I kind of just want to keep this as like memories, but I will, I am not sure um, how I will coordinate this one in particular, um, <laughs> but I'm really excited to try, honestly. As you can see, um, so the reason why there's like strawberries on it is because one of their favorite foods is strawberries for the stars they actually have a star toy that they love playing with which is what it looks like they have these this star toy in like orange blue uh purple and like green um red as you can see so that's why there's like stars on there and then of course the name of the birds see at the inchia and then they're a feather of their colors and then the actual bird which i am immensely impressed like i am trying to get focus on this but it's so hard um but because oh, it's just so beautiful in person it's absolutely beautiful like i can't even like i don't want to wear this i just want to put this in a frame <laughs> it's so beautiful it makes me so happy honestly thank you so much christina this is this is definitely my favorite one. I don't want to wear this because I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to chip it. I don't want to nothing. So each of the nails, um, they came on this uh, paper and then it stuck onto like, um, on like some, like adhesive on there essentially, just like, like similar to tabbies. So it's on there just so it can be displayed. So very cute. I absolutely love the packaging and all of them, all of the nails came like that. Um, so yeah, this is so cute. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I can't get over this. <laughs> so you see Chia here is the orange one. Um, absolutely adorable. Literally looks like her and she's trying to bite it because she thinks it's a toy, but it's not. And then Siete here, he's the uh, blue and the um, green color. Absolutely gorgeous. I swear it looks just like him. It, it's just so pretty. I love it so much. <laughs> he keeps staring at it because he's just wondering what is it. But Chia here seems to love her nails. <laughs> <laughs> so like I said, um, each of the nail packs did come named and labeled. So in the event for some reason you forget what's what, you can just see through the window or can see through the um, label. So now I'm gonna show you both the girly gang and the neon star diner uh, nails. So I, I was so taken aback at how absolutely gorgeous these are. Like, oh my God. <laughs> so um so these are three like so these are the three that i received um i did get another hand i, I just want to show you all at one go so this is the girly gang in the claws um or the more almond shape um nail set and then the neon star diner is in more of the other longer ones the more traditional longer ones i personally have a preference to more of the almond or like the claws um shape but honestly i really love all of them i love all three of them so with the actual nails they are absolutely gorgeous and beautiful highly recommend um them so beautiful so in in terms of me wearing them um, but also Christina was very transparent about this. So because the measurements, um, are a little bit on the bigger side, they might not necessarily fit me, um, uh, to a T. So I actually had to file down, um, the nails, um, for the Neon Star Diner and the Girl Again. I haven't filed down these because I'm, I just don't want to, I don't want to touch it at all. I, like I said, I don't even want to wear them because I just love them so much and I want to treasure them. But I, hola mi gente, anything Marina here. Just wanted to clarify a little bit more of the sizing issues that I mentioned. So I actually got clarification from Crescent Cutie Nails, um, about how they combat this actually so like i mentioned um the nails were a little bit too big for some of my fingers um and since obviously it is uh 
it is possible to file down the nails um, so the main way how they would combat this if you were to order a custom set would be to order a sizing kit before going through with the custom order that way the exact sizes can be determined without the need to um, file the nails plus the cost of the sizing kit is actually put towards the cost of a custom set if you do decide to go through the order so you won't have to worry about, about double buying essentially but like I showed, it is actually better for them to be slightly larger than to be uh, too small. Just so that you can file them down to your size. Just want to make that clarification. Siete was trying to eat his nail set. So see what I mean? I can't actually have um, like 3D nail art or like any like nails like that. Which I don't feel bad about because quite personally, I'm more of a practical person. I would definitely prefer to have pretty nails. Um like more extravagant nails when I'm out and about so like when I'm traveling or whatever and in regular times so when I'm at home just working or whatever I would just keep them about this short and then just kind of like paint them like with gel or something even with gel with gel they chew them off <laughs> so I have to be more careful with them because of that so when I did travel to California I did plan on wearing the nails just to see how it is out and about um, I really didn't have any issues and even though they were a little bit um, bigger than my fingers um, They stayed on the whole time like none of them popped off um, I didn't lose any <laughs> um, Yeah, like I'd had no issues at all and they don't feel thin. They don't feel thin flimsy or flimsy um, They were actually great. So I would definitely um, wear these again and again and every single time that I'm gonna wear girly gang or neon star diner I'm 100% gonna be wearing these nails until I lose them or break them or something and honestly I'm gonna I take care of my nails and y'all should too <laughs> I do know there is uh, one or two other like um, nail brands that kind of do do more custom Lita um, art um and in terms of price I, it's not that much different um with anything custom it's gonna be more on the um not cheap obviously so for the base nails it's five dollars per nail and then obviously for the 10 10 because we have 10 fingers it's 20 dollars um and then kind of like for for example for an ombre it's three dollars per nail and then 15 for um, the nails and then if you want kind of more like a medium art um, it would be about $40 total and then something about like mines the ones I got in something similar to these which would be um, considered uh, like expert or like above would be minimum like $60 editing Marina again so I just want to maintain transparency and also just to make sure that I am not providing misinformation I was able to get more clarification from Crescent Cutie Nails regarding the price so the way how I phrase it it kind of seemed like the nails that I got would have costed like $60 which was not my intent at all um, but for essentially for this level of detail for the nail art which which would be considered more expert and advanced art. Crescent Cutie Nails would charge 100 Canadian dollars each. The cost can be brought down significantly um, if someone were to want a more simple set, like if they wanted the girly gang set with the daggers only, for example. So instead of all the different um, art or the different motifs from the girly gang set, if they wanted just the daggers on there, then the cost would be a little bit less. All the pricing is in Canadian dollars, so exchange rates would make things cheaper for people who do buy in USD. Just wanted to add that clarification. Want to learn more about Crescent Cutie Nails? I have all their links in the description down below. They have Instagram and they do have an Etsy shop, like I mentioned. And I do have a discount code for you if you do want to shop on their Etsy. So it's Marina15 for 15% off your purchase. So thank you so much to Christina from Crescent Cutie Nails for the beautiful nails. And honestly, I've already worn these like twice. <laughs>
<laughs> I've already worn the neon star diner ones like literally twice so I I love them <laughs> and um, if you or if anyone else is interested in the Crescent Cutie Nails um, please support Christina and their nails <laughs> because they are absolutely gorgeous like I've never like literally this is the stuff that I wish that a local nail salon would be able to do and the fact that wow someone in Toronto can do this and I can you know ask them to do potentially very cute potentially gyaru sort of nail art is absolutely amazing and I'm I'm just so happy <laughs> so thank you so much again and I hope you have a wonderful day and again check out Crescent Cutie Nails with the discount code MARINA15 for 15% off see you in the next one bye bye